Association for the Academy of Science, St. Louis Science Fair. E-Fair stands for Electronic Fair. The E-Fair option is an exciting and new way for students to get experience in preparing for real-world technology. No need to drop off your project at the fair. Submit it online. Go green by reducing material use and waste. Save some money by not buying display materials. First of all, make sure your school allows eFair projects. If your teachers are not aware of the eFair program, please tell them to visit the St. Louis Science Fair website for more information. You will complete the Science Fair research just as you would a traditional project under the Students section of the website. There is one big difference. Instead of preparing a physical display that you'll bring up and set up, you will prepare an electronic experiment according to the eFair rules. The eFair projects are due on a different schedule than the project at Queenie Park, so be sure to pay close attention to the eFair rules. The deadlines for registration and uploading your project documents are on the website too. Two files must be turned in with each eFair project, a PowerPoint or PDF file for the project presentation, and a Microsoft Word file or a PDF file for the logbook. Your logbook can also be written or typed. Visit the eFair option page under the student section of the St. Louis Science Fair website. You will find examples of an eFair logbook and a PowerPoint presentation that I put up. They will help you see what an eFair entry looks like. The first file, the logbook, is a day-to-day -day recording of your experiment. My logbook includes dated entries, research notes, my experimental design, trial run, raw data, and results and my general thoughts and observations about my experiment. The PowerPoint presentation will include all of the information that you would normally put on a project's display board, like a background, problem, hypothesis, procedure, result, conclusion, and reflection questions. If you want to know how your project will be evaluated by the judges, just go to the St. Louis Science Fair website, look at the specific judging rubrics that match your division and your type of project in the judges section. Looking at the rubrics before you start your experiment is really helpful because you will know the criteria the judges will be using to evaluate your experiment. My biggest science fair tip to you is to choose the subject you're interested in. You will spend a lot of time working on this project, so pick something that is fun and fascinating. Good luck.